Hello everyone, welcome to Literature Warriors. So, I have done several videos on the novel The Vendor of Sweets by R.K. Narayan. So, this will be another video, something very important for you. So, in this video, I'll be doing a chapter analysis. It will be a page by page analysis focusing on the important quotations and I will explain a bit about the implied meanings there well so let me go to the first chapter and it's the first page well so we can see in the first line itself there's a word conquer taste and you will have conquered the self so this word conquer has come from the Gandhian philosophy it is a word from Gandhi so it's ironical the word is ironical and uh, the word has an impact of Gandhian philosophy. Then uh, there we can see, uh, I have highlighted, I do not know, but all our sages advise us so. So this suggests that uh, Jagan is just a follower of Gandhi. So he's just following the things said by Gandhi. So the wise sages uh, here, Jagan refers to Gandhi. And uh, also, we feel like that he says that I don't know. So he is actually following this simple living theories and all the Gandhian philosophy without having a proper knowledge about it. So he follows Gandhi blindly and he doesn't have a proper understanding about what he is doing. He, he just follows it uh, as, the, as Gandhi said it. Well... So, next I have uh, highlighted the jargon sat under the framed picture of the goddess Lakshmi hanging on the wall. Well, and for the first thing of the day, uh, jargon did well, was uh, offering flowers to goddess Lakshmi. So, it shows that jargon is a religious frig figure. Well, and it says... Uh, fragrance of sweet meats frying in ghee so this suggests that jargon is a sweet meat vendor and the fragrance is coming also suggests that jargon is a good businessman and uh, his sweets are really in a good quality well then uh, there it's page number seven the listener was the cousin so the cousin has been introduced in this page and uh, total incompatible means mismatches and uh, I have highlighted that something said about the cousin. He was a man about town and visited many places and houses from morning till night. So he seems to be a wanderer. But he seems to be a sort of a practical man, sociable character. So the cousin who has been introduced as a middleman uh, in the affairs of Jagan and his son Mali has been introduced in this page. Next. Okay. There are, so, uh, there are a few other things about the cousin and it says that... Uh, Cousin is informative and he's a sociable traveler because he talks about the, the prices of sugar and some other things there in the society and what society thinks about the things. And the final line there, what is life worth unless we serve and help each other? So it seems that uh, the cousin is a good man and he's a virtuous man and he's helpful. That's why he has uh, understood uh, that helping each other is something to be done. It's a good deed. Well, then it says, and something very important is we always talk about jargon as a hypocrite. So hypocrite is a person who is a double dealing person having false appearance of virtues of certain concepts. So he's having, a, he's doing it. But uh, he's telling something else and doing something else. So that is a person uh, whom we call a hypocrite. So here we can see hypocrisy. I have given up salt since this morning. 
so you know when we make uh, when we make sweet meats salt is one of the most important ingredients there so jargon is a sweet meat vendor so he is telling that he has given up eating given up salt so how can he given up salt how can he give up salt uh, while being a sweet meat vendor so there is hypocrisy there right and he also further says one must dish only natural salt so that also in one hand signifies that jargon is a flower of gandhian philosophy and of his simple living theories okay so in this uh, paragraph it describes the appearance of jargon and it shows that jargon is sticked with the tradition and culture see he 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 always uh, uh, rejects the european habits he shaved only at certain intervals feeling that to view oneself daily in a mirror was an intolerable european habit so from the very outset of the novel we come to know that jargon is a jargon always rejects european habits european habits are intolerable for him so he dislikes the european habits and culture and then later we can see he never possessed more than two sets of clothes at a time so again it suggests the simple living theories and the the excess in neat bundles and uh, to the local handloom committee in exchange for cash so he had only limited dresses and uh, the excess he had delivered and exchanged it for cash so that shows he's a frugal character thrifty and uh, he's not wasting money clothes or anything and uh, so frugality or we call thrifty being thrifty is a good quality of a shrewd businessman so jargon is obviously a shrewd businessman well so in this line it says uh, it is it is it, uh, it in some solution and then turned over turned it over to an older cobbler this suggests that uh gan jargon is an ardent follower of gandhi and he promotes non violence he doesn't he he never wanted to kill somebody as a kill a living being even an animal to do his uh to make his life easier well so the presence of leather at home threatened to blast his domestic life so here we can see uh, now jargon is making jargon started to make his footwear non violent footwear on his own but it was not uh, accepted by the home environment especially by the wife so it suggests that some practices were not successful and that suggests that he is going to be he is an extremist in simple living theories and that is sarcastic because when we go to although the thing is good when we go to the extremes it seems to be something odd and sarcastic so jargon is such a person well so we can see how the conflicts arouse in aging because uh, earlier mali was a supporter of jargon but later on he has given up it okay so throw away the leather so this was the harsh thing when he his practices were actually not successful well right so again non violent footwear so he he promotes non violence and you have simplified your life so completely and made yourself abs- absolutely self dependent so this is the concept of naturalism uh, you know the nature is self dependent so jargon is trying to follow this naturalism the concept of naturalism well and also jargon is a follower of gandhi and simple living theories it is also signified in this line and again jargon's hypocrisy is revealed i have discontinued sugar as you know so this is actually hypocritical because jargon is a sweet meat wonder and he is avoiding sugar so that is obviously hypocrisy 
you have pre- you have perfected the art of living on nothing so the cousin is highlighting this term because uh, it's ironical because if he has uh, perfected the art of living on nothing how is he why is he uh, why is he running a sweet meat business and why he why is he earning lot of money and why is he not contented with what he earn well right and then and then in this page also it suggests that jagan is a skeptic traditional conventional man and it is sarcastic he has a he ha- he had an sarcastic uh, eye upon the people who are following the european habit so the englishman uh, he he has been called it in a uh, introduced him in a uh, sarcastic manner and in this page again we can see that he's a religious person he's a person who is always uh, attentive towards religion and reading bhagavad gita continuously right so the name bhagavad gita and those things have been mentioned well and then captain that beggar should not be seen here except on fridays this is not a charity home so in one hand this is uh, this has been told because he's a great businessman he's a good businessman but uh, he always uh, reads bhagavad gita and he's a religious person and for a religious person like that it's kind of a unkind be- uh, behavior you know and uh, so he is not religious and he kind as he appeared to be so he's actually not uh, kind as he appeared to be he's always telling that promoting the good things but here this thing we can see that uh, some negative quality of him he's avoiding the beggars and in a harsh manner well and this thing uh now after 6 o'clock he has put uh, money in another cha ja, ja and he is a good manager so jagan is an excellent manager and that is another quality of a shrewd businessman well and here we can see uh, jagan is handling money very strategically and uh, running his business even without paying taxes so that also something sarcastic because uh, he seems to be a very religious person but he is avoiding paying taxes well and uh, jagan also uses some safety measures uh, well concerned about the protection of the uh, shop and here we can see the dialogue with the watchman whom he called as captain and he he is asking to uh, uh, double check the locks and uh, so he is very concerned about all these things so the first chapter is actually an exposition of the novel it introduces jargon and several other characters and gives us a slight idea about what the novel will be and so the chapter ends with how jargon spends his day well This is the end of the analysis of chapter 1 thank you all for watching